development tonight in the case of a 1992 murder of a Las Vegas performer. Fox 5 News has learned police may take another look at the case after a man wrongly convicted of the murder was officially declared innocent yesterday. Fox 5's Joe Viel has been digging into this and joins us with the late breaking details tonight. That's right. We got a very interesting email response tonight from the North Las Vegas Police Department. So today I contacted the department and asked if it would consider reopening that 1992 murder case of Gerard Soul, seen here. He was an acrobat and had a dog show at Circus Circus. I contacted police after Fred Steese, the man wrongly convicted of killing souls, told me he wanted the case reopened and the real killer found. Now, in a statement to Fox 5 News tonight, a North Las Vegas police spokesperson said a detective is being assigned to reevaluate the case and make a determination whether any further follow-up investigation is possible and or warranted. Now, Fred Steese served nearly 20 years in prison for the murder he did not commit. He worked with Souls for a while. Now this is what he told me about this big new development just a short time ago. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, that I've been trying to get him to reopen the case, uh, you know, for the victim's sister. Uh, he's been, he's been uh, you know, somebody's two, two, well, two murders are walking around, you know, because there's two different DNAs that been that said could be tested, you know, and uh, from my knowledge, it's never been even ran. Now, you may have seen our interview at 530 with the sister of Gerard Souls. Kathleen Mary Souls Nasri told me she supports Steese's efforts to find the real killer. I talked with her as well tonight, told her what police said. She was shocked and did not think police would even consider looking at the case again. Now, we did not get a timeline of how long this reevaluation of the case might take and what it will involve. But of course, we will keep you updated. Live at the update desk, Joe Hill, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.